Hi, I'm Shondell, and we're talking to Tommy Lynch. He's playing Mark the Professor in 86th movie. Hi, Tommy. Hi, how you doing? Good, how about you? Fabulous, Thanks. So what do you like about being involved with the 86th project? Um, the, the cast I, I've worked with before, uh, they're all great. Um, meeting Christian, getting to work with a new director who's uh, talented. I've never worked with him before, so I can only go off of the trailer. And uh, from uh, what I can see, it's, it's really good, and I look forward to, to working with him and the cast, so that's what I'm excited about for the film. What's the hardest part about being an actor? Getting work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you like about being an actor? Uh, being able to uh, play different characters and, and do the research and, and really uh, create the character from an emotional and psychological standpoint. Um, that's really the fun, is, is building the character from when the character is five years old. Mm. Is I, that's how far back I go, depending on the character. Um, and being able to just get into his head and figure out and come up with the things that happened to this character as he was growing up to make him who he is now, this character, whether he's a wimp, whether he's psychotic, whatever the case may be, it's, it's just fun to be able to, mm. to come up with a psychological profile. And, and the problem is, is I lived that in my head for about three weeks before we start filming, so things can get pretty crazy in, in real life. <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> Because imagine. I've become the character. So how do you relate to this character, Mike the Professor? Um, well, I was a teacher at, at one point, so uh, you know I can re relate to him in that way. But other than that, uh, he's a mastermind, you know. So he's uh, very analytical and he analyzes everything. So uh, I do that as well, whether it be looking at a table and trying to figure out the dimensions of it. So the the character. Uh, does the same thing with everything, whether it's a person, whether it's an object, whatever it is, he's just constantly analyzing everything. He's got 170 IQ, which is just five points above mine, so, you know, that's how I can relate to him. I'm just kidding, my IQ is only like 90. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> so are you wearing boxers, briefs, or are you going commando today? Uh, briefs. Briefs. Yeah. Nice, brief answer. <laughs> Did you uh, go to the strip club last night, or did you go to mass this morning? Oh, um, I went to the strip club last night. And no mass? No. You, you didn't repent for any of the sins that you committed at that strip club last night, Tommy? No, but um, <laughs> thanks for reminding me. You're I welcome. actually, I really, it's funny that you say that because I really did want to go to church today. <laughs> I haven't gone since I was like 14 and, and I made a plan last week to go to church today and I absolutely forgot about it. Oh no. Well, you'll go next time after I'm you going. go to the strip club next okay. Saturday night. <laughs> And I will repent for all of the, all of the sins, yes. So if you went out, not to the strip club, but if you went out, would you be looking more for the quiet, shy girls or you'd be looking for the life of the party girls? <clears throat> um, life of the party girls. Why is that? Because when I go out, I'm the life of the party also. Okay. So I don't want anybody to be too overwhelmed with my personality and just be sitting there shy and be like, oh my God, I can't handle this guy. He's like all over the place, social butterfly. So how about this? How about... The life of the party girl with a little, a little shy tendency. A little twist of shy. I would like shy. to see you work that twist out. Of shy. That'd be nice. <laughs> What's the most important thing your parents ever taught you? Um, to um, never give up and, and that quitting is, is not an option. If, if you set a goal, you just keep going for that goal until you achieve it. How's it been working uh, on 86th Project with Christian? Fabulous. Okay. The director. Great. Fabulous. Incredible. He's not, you can't hear it. No, he's not it even really here. It really is great. He's not even here. It really is great. <laughs> what do you think is the reason people should come out and see 86th? Um, I think it's going to be a great film. Um, a lot of action, a lot of drama, um, and uh, the cast is, is going to be amazing. You know, I, I think that the, the handful of cast that we have I mean, so talented. I mean, it could be like another Outsiders, if you remember. Mm -hmm. If you remember that, where yep. you had this full cast of just up and comers, they didn't mm -hmm. really do anything big, and then all of a sudden, you know, you got Tom Cruise, Milo right. Estevez, Rob Lowe, and like, I, I think that's what's going to happen with this film. So, who's your favorite actor or actress? Oh, wow, there's so many of them. Um, Christian Slater, Jack Nicholson. Um, Tom Hanks, 
The greats. Uh, the I mean, greats. I, they, they've done it. They've proved it. So. How about your favorite movie? Oh, that's, that's hard. I have a real hard time with, with favorites because sure. I, I look at something and I, I take the best of what it has and, and what it offers, and, and I appreciate that. And I do the same thing with music. And I don't even think I have a favorite color, but if I had to pick a movie, Titanic. Titanic. Yeah. So I'm um, back to hanging out all night. If you were going to hang out all night and you weren't coming in until 4 o'clock tomorrow morning sometime, would you rather have cold pizza or Chinese takeout? Chinese takeout. Yeah? Yeah. And I was at Nikki Beach last night. Were you? Hanging out with Britney Spears. Really? Really. So. Did she eat Chinese takeout with you after? No. Well, it was still good. It was Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was still good. I'm surprised she showed, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think she was going to show. I got around like 1 o'clock and she still wasn't there yet, so um, I didn't think she was going to show. I figured she'd get her down payment, mm. you know, and then just say, you know what, forget and about the money or just, sure. get, just get crazy <laughs> and like she does or drunk or whatever and just not show up. But she actually showed up, so that was, That's that was awesome. impressive. I'd like to know what they paid her. It's probably like a couple hundred thousand dollars. Oh, you'll know with it because they'll be paying you for that soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I can't wait. So if you're going to be a superhero, what kind of superpower would you like to have? Teleportation. Teleportation. How come? Well, just because uh, if I wanted to be in New York right now, uh -huh. I could be. Nice. That's yeah. faster than super speed, isn't it? It is. Now you got me it's thinking about it. I'm right? reassessing my whole like superpower. Thought. Wouldn't it be great if you could do that? <laughs> it would be fantastic. But not only you know just in the now, but how about through time itself? How about if you could That'd teleport awesome. yourself through time? That's so. That's it. Not only in the now, <laughs> but also through time, okay. future and past. Well, we have been here talking to Tommy Lynch. He plays Mike the Professor in 86 movie. It's, uh, excuse me, it's Mark the Professor. Mark the Professor. Mark the Professor in 86 movie. <laughs>